Chicago is vast. There's a lot of alleyways where a lot of subcultures are taking place, where a lot of little nooks and crannies of things that you don't even know that are happening. I think we've been taught to understand the world in binaries, good versus evil. You know, there's just a lot more to it than that. What we're trying to get at is showcasing some of that variety. I'm Kenzie Coule. Uh, I'm a drag performer and violinist and fashion designer. I'm Bambi Banks. I am a drag performer and an actor and a dancer. When I first heard about Queen, I was extremely like kind of scared of Queen just because like I came out like a whole year after Kenzie. It's it's known as like a huge party here, like it's like a big deal. I went a couple times with my friends and uh, was like totally stressed, but eventually my relationship with Queen evolved and I started getting booked for it and started coming more. I think it's like one of the best places to see your friends and everyone's like their most creative there. I'm very excited to get the opportunity to perform there this weekend. When pressure builds from living in a constructed society that constantly jeopardizes your freedom, at some point in your life, you know, that, that sort of beats you down. It becomes this sort of monster. You have to decide how you're gonna escape. Hi, my name is Mr. Wallace, and I am the cool mom of Futurehead. My name is Ijo Prodigo. I am a DJ, producer, and co-architect of the Futurehood. Uh, my name is Ace Boom Bap, and I am founder, artist, philosopher. Futurehood is an artist collective and a record label. It is a media platform created by people and for people whose intersectional identities are often conflicting. Chicago is definitely on the cutting edge of um, the drag world, like not even on the scene, the drag world. A lot of the best queens come out of Chicago. A lot of the most well-known queens come out of Chicago. My name is Dan and I am the man behind the curtain at Queen. Queen is a weekly house and disco party that happens at Smart Bar. Um, it's underground and it kind of ties in the ideals of the late 70s, early 80s when queer culture was still forming. And I think the reason Queen is able to exist in Chicago still is because Chicago is the birthplace of house music. And Smart Bar is actually one of the clubs where Frankie Knuckles, one of the founders of house music, first started DJing. So I think, you know, we're really just trying to keep this like quintessential piece of queer life that isn't pandering or isn't like top 40 Britney Spears. Like it's really like 
Donna Summer in Songs Without Lyrics. And so there's like a nostalgic reminiscent part of it as well. My name is Michael Serafini, and uh, I am a resident here at Smart Bar with a party that I do called Queen. You know, in this in this current time, it's a safe space for anyone that feels that they want a place to feel comfortable and natural and to be themselves. Drag has kind of like given us a platform and like helped us push our own like other communities uh, within this queer community and showing them like just because we are black doesn't mean we're less than in any way, shape or form. Like we can stand in these spaces too. So I'm Nick. One of the co-founders of Party Noir. I'm Ray Chardonnay, DJ and co-founder of Party Noir. We are a space that um, celebrates, affirms, centers the lives of black women, black people, black queer folks across the gender spectrum. I think what makes our space unique is that we um, are first and foremost thinking about how to create platforms for women, black, uh, black women DJs and black queer DJs. Black people, people of color, queer people, we live very uh, sometimes oppressive, like oppressive lives, I guess, where um, we find ourselves in these marginalized spaces. And so um, I think for me, I'm taking the bike ride as just like creating a, sen a sense of my own freedom and then sharing that with the people around me. So I took this Victorian fashion kind of class and we learned how to do proper rough collars and I did a leather one and trimmed it with lace. I made this for a Beyonce night. And I did I Was Here on violin. I think that drag has also, in a way, given us power to even like be in queer spaces, African-American men find it very difficult to be in a lot of queer spaces because queer spaces are often ran through a white lens. A lot of like what people know what it is to be gay is really what it means to be like white and gay. When it comes to the more like cis heteronormative uh, audience. I think it's crazy when we get to see them because they like, they react differently, uh, but it's always like one or two reactions where it's like either like appreciation or just like, they don't know what to do. They kind of like think we're props. Like, uh, like your gimmick and yeah, just yeah, like- Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, I understand that. Out, huh? But like, we're also like, you know, human. <laughs> Like, I'm always so appreciative when someone is like, oh my God, I love you for you. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I love, like, what you do. Chicago creative scene is pretty uh, thriving and beautiful, in my opinion. Our DJs reflect what we want our community to feel and look like. There's a future hood DJ, Justin uh, Ejo Prodio. Favorite DJs. One of my favorite DJs the world. ever. Our careers have taught us that um, the best thing we can do is do it for ourselves because we're not being supported in the way we need to. Chicago is a place of vitality and life, and that's the narrative that Futurehood wants to tell, that we exist in the future, that we will be here, we will continue to create. Queen is kind of inspired by that old school 
mentality of a few of the iconic parties. It was, it was about a place that was safe for gays, for black, Latino, white, or transgender. And you would see that in the club, and many of them would take it to another level. As soon as you're about to go on stage, like, my heart, like, starts racing. And then as soon as it's over, it's just elating. It's all about finding where you fit in, honestly, at the end of the day. We exist in the future. We will be here. We will continue to create. We have done some very good groundwork in like laying the foundation for a community here in Chicago. Chicago is in the business of sharing right now. Like everyone is sharing their resources with one another and I think that it's beautiful.